Jack, there has definitely been anti-Semitism on campuses around the country, but Muslim students have also been at the uh, uh, victimized by harassment. That according to a survey by the Council on American Islamic Relations CARE. The executive director is Zara Bilou. She joins us from Santa Clara in Northern California County. So thank you for very much for taking the time. Um, Thanks for having me. Your, 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 um, your research indicates that Muslim students are facing harassment as well. Uh, is, is this as a result of October 7th or is this something prior to that? Every two years, we survey Muslim students on K through 12 campuses across the state of California, and our data, most recently published yesterday, indicates that nearly half of Muslim students report experiencing bullying or harassment. Nearly one-fourth are experiencing that at the hands of teachers and administrators themselves. This data, though, predates October 7th, so we were already in a very difficult situation with nearly half of Muslim students experiencing these things before the recent escalation. And so we are, of course, concerned that as new data comes in, those numbers are going to go up. Uh, give, give us a, a, an, an example of the kind of harassment. Sure, so bullying and harassment as it exists between students can include things like name calling, unwanted touching, including tugging of headscarves, um, and social isolation. And then when teachers and administrators are doing it, it can be far worse because what it does is it sends a message to the whole classroom that problematic statements, that Islamophobic statements, or that isolating Muslim students um, is acceptable behavior from our leadership. And so nearly half of Muslim students were already complaining of this pre-October 7th. What is your assessment of, the, of, of what we're seeing on college campuses currently when it comes to Jewish mm -hmm. students? We've seen escalating tensions targeting both Jewish students as well as Palestinian solidarity students. All targeting of students is unacceptable, but we need to make a distinction between hate speech and political speech. What we've seen is that some Jewish students have been wrongfully targeted, and we condemn that. We've also seen that Muslim and pro-Palestinian students have been horribly targeted at college campuses across the state of California. The deans of various UC campuses have issued pro-Israel statements that have isolated Palestinian students. We've seen Palestinian students be docked, their faces put on the sides of trucks, driven around campuses and in their neighborhoods, and the universities have not stepped in. And of course, very horribly, a professor at UC Berkeley wrote an op-ed urging employers not to hire his students, calling them anti-Semitic when in fact what they are what they are is pro-Palestinian. Uh, right, but l l let's get into that for just a second. Um, we understand the dynamic that has taken place over the course of this conflict. Uh, there are Palestinian uh, <laughs> civilians who've died, thousands of them. We understand. Close to 10,000. Uh, Close we, to 10,000. A hospital was bombed overnight. We, we, we understand that. But, right. but for, for those people on the outside looking into this, um, they look at the comments that were made on October 7th immediately. This is before any kind of retaliatory strike by Israel that celebrated the Hamas attack, where you slaughtered young people at a music festival, where you condoned the rape of, of Jewish women. Who did that? And, and no, no, but who, who I, did I, that? I, I'm, just, I'm just saying that when you had, Erwin Chemerinsky was on just before you, and he said there were, there were demonstrations in support on the day of the attack of Hamas. There were demonstrations in support of Palestinian freedom. The violence did not begin on October 7th. The Israeli assault on Gaza and Palestinians has been ongoing for decades. I can assure you, I have not seen a single statement celebrating violence against innocent people. What I have seen is hope for freedom for Palestinians. It's also not accurate to say that the retaliation didn't begin the same day. Israeli violence against Palestinians predates October 7th and has now been incredibly disproportionate and without any discernment. Um, I, I think people watching this will say, listen, we, we understand the longstanding uh, uh, problems in, 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 uh, in that region. Uh, the, Occupation. Fact, the, the, the fact of the matter is, is that um, for, for them to celebrate on the day of the assault on Israeli citizens, 
And who really celebrated? No, no, I, no, no I, but who celebrated the loss of innocent lives? Like, that's not an accurate statement. If anything was celebrated, it was that people broke through a 15-year siege that had been suffocating them. R r r right. There's no yeah. celebration of the loss of innocent life. That's not an accurate statement. Well, um, I, Show I, me I, the quote. I, I, I'm, I'm just... I... I'm just telling you what the dean of the University of California School of Law, right. who is a, the who's dean a very, who's had, is, is a the very, dean who is, has had I, numerous complaints. The complaints we are receiving from his campus are that those students don't feel safe. That his statements are repeatedly one-sided. His students are being doxxed and are being threatened by pro-Israeli organizations, and he has not stepped up to protect them. Uh, so right. he can well, you, say the, what he wants, but until he can show me a screenshot of somebody celebrating the death of an innocent life, this conversation is not going anywhere. Anti-Semitism is to be condemned. So, too, is the Israeli occupation. We'll leave it there. Zara Bilu is the executive director of the Council on American-Islamic Relations. I really appreciate you taking the time. Thank you very much for joining us.